Okay, so um, how did you guys get into dancing? Let's start with you. Well, how did I get into dancing? Oh, I think I just like my mom was like, put it on, you're going out there. I was like, all right. So <laughs> I started getting into it. What about you? I've been dancing since I was little and I really enjoy it. Oh, okay. So um, tell me a bit about your outfit. How did this all come together? Well, I got it at Walmart and uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> my aunts and my grandmas made it. Like they put, I don't know, maybe 120 hours of work into it. Yeah. Yeah. Like imagine looking at this. Imagine going bead by bead by bead. And does it like symbolize anything? Anything in particular? Like it makes it look really pretty. Like how you're wearing your Forever 21 shirt. Wow. How do you know where I got my shirt? That's, that's great. <laughs> oh, what about you? Uh, I actually forgot my outfit. This is my friend. Oh, really? <laughs> Fail. <laughs> so, um, is there anything like specific about the beadwork that you know of, like, like um, unique to your tribe or anything? Um, I'm trying to think. Not really. Just the colors, basically. Or should I be asking your mom? <laughs> <laughs> ba basically, like, they're just used to some. Symbolizes the tribe with my colors, I guess, because the reds like symbolizes Navajo. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. What about you? Well, I know that this uh, this eagle right here, it's it, it's part of the Sioux tribe, so. It's this dance contest. Is it only judged on um, how well you dance, or is it also judged on this point system that you talk about? It's basically both. Like you have to show up for grand entry and. Um, and they have spot checks and inner tribals where they have people just writing down your number to see if you're dancing and whatnot. And contests and you get judged on how you dance. So it's basically all works together. Uh, um, and what happens if you don't show up? Well, you don't get your points and you don't lose and you don't get money to go gamble and food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and are you, is it uncomfortable standing here in this heat with this outfit on? Or are you used to it by now? Uh, it's, it's all right, like today, but I went to a, a powwow in, in Minnesota. It was called Prairie Island. That's, that's my tribe. Oh. Yeah. Well, I went to your guys' powwow, and it was scorching hot. Like, my whole outfit was all sweaty, and it was all sticky. <laughs> and it was wow. not a good time. This one's just, the heat's all right. It's that cool. is insane. This is all right. Yeah. But you were sweating in Minnesota. <laughs> that's Sweat crazy. <laughs> Shout out to Amos. Shout out to Amos. <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> Shout out to Dominic too. <laughs> We're all Navajo. Uh, that's crazy. So you grew up, travel all the way up to Minnesota. Yeah. Is that the is that the furthest north you go, or do you go even nor more north? I will. I go to Canada sometimes. Uh, up north, I remember when I was little, I went to Connecticut. Basically, all around the country. It's pretty cool. Shout out to Patrick McSuey too. <laughs> Say hi. Hey guys. <laughs> yeah. What a, What about you? Are you from around here? No, I'm from. Montana, actually. Are you from Montana? I'm from Arizona. Oh, so you guys just like everyone knows each other in like yeah. the powwow circuit. That's really cool. Yeah. Who would you say is the best dancer? Dang, that's a really hard question. Which category? Um, what is your category? Dancing man. Dancing man. Uh, God. Amos. I'd probably. Hey, wait, wait. She asked me. Okay. I'd probably have to say. Amos Geology, the guy that just walked by in the red, oh, okay. he's like one of my favorite dancers. And I have to say, Isaiah Bob, he's a fancy dancer right there. I think those are my top two. What about you? Uh, probably Amos and Kenny Pratt Jr. Oh, okay. Those guys uh, are ill. Shout out to those guys. <laughs> um, and what about like out of the female dancers? Whew. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, which category? Shawl dancing. That's hard. That's a hard question. Those are my favorites. It's always fun to watch. Her name's Jade Brown. Jade Brown? Lauren Oaks. Oh, yeah. She's my favorite. Lauren Oaks. And they're really good dancers. They yeah. They okay, kill. wow. If they were here. If they were here, I'd be like, get over here. Get over here. But never mind. <laughs> so, like, what made you keep going in the, like, native dance circuit? Like, did you ever consider, like, doing something else, like baseball, you know, and you just said, no, I'm going to keep dancing? I don't know. It's just, like, it's fun. I, I, like, at my school, I can't really, like, relate to some of the other people there. But, like, when I come here, it's just a bunch of my friends that I see yeah. here all the time. And we get undressed, we go have fun and stuff. It's just 
basically it's really fun to hang out with people and it's really fun to dance so what about you do you love dancing yeah i do i i've been dancing ever since i was little and i want to keep doing it since i'm old that's great it's like one big family here it's like a home away from home i see that's crazy you were at my powwow i was there too this year she didn't even say hi she didn't even say hi <laughs> Well, thank you for talking to me. Yeah, wait, wait, I forgot your name. It's Shayna. Thank you, Shayna. Pleasure. And your name was? Kenneth. Kenneth and? Trey. Trey, okay, nice to meet you both. I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.